Happening right now, it is opening day in Major League Baseball and scores of Tucsonans making the drive to Phoenix to support the state's very own Arizona Diamondbacks as the 2022 campaign begins. News for Tucson's sports director, Paul Sicala, has been at the D-backs pregame festivities since early this afternoon and joins us live with more from downtown Phoenix and Chase Field. Hey, Paul, what's happening? Hey, we are less than three hours away from the Arizona Diamondbacks opening up their 2022 Major League season against the San Diego Padres. Of course, the game itself begins at 6.40 p.m. and the gates here at Chase will open around 4.30 p.m. and it'll give the opportunity for fans to get inside and watch some batting practice, maybe see some of the players from both teams warming up and of course it'll give them an opportunity to try some of that good ballpark food. Now, I'm going to step out of the picture so you can see what's going on behind me. Of course, not much in this day and age. People buy their tickets in person or they just get it online and scan that barcode, but many of the people are standing around. They can't wait to get uh, inside of the stadium itself to see the Arizona Diamondbacks. Of course, a lot of people came from Tucson as well to watch the San Diego Padres and the D-backs, but one thing's for sure. Now let's go ahead and uh, talk about the Diamondbacks. They're definitely having a lot to prove this season. It's opening day as the Arizona Diamondbacks hope to rebound from one of the worst seasons in franchise history. In 2021, the D-backs struggled mightily, losing 110 games and winning just 52. But hey, the good news for the Arizona Diamondbacks this season, they are projected by most to win over 60 games. But if that prediction came through, they'd still flirt with 100 losses again. Most preseason predictions have the D-backs as the third worst team in baseball this season behind the Orioles and Pirates. Whatever the case, baseball is baseball and win or lose, it's always fun to make it out to the ballpark as a fan. And the Diamondbacks are hoping to prove their naysayers wrong. Ketel Marte, one of pro baseball's brightest stars, just signed a five-year extension for the D-backs worth $76 million. Last season, Marte hit 318, and despite missing almost half the season with injuries, he still busted out with 14 home runs and 50 RBIs. Here is D-back general manager Mike Hazen. Very fortunate to have Cattell be with us uh, for the foreseeable future. I think it's not lost on everybody that he's our best player. We have talked about what we need to do to win and turn back around where we are today, and you do that with elite players, and Cattell is certainly an elite player. Uh, so excited to win because uh, I work so hard. Working hard to see the Arizona Diamondbacks turn it around and dazzle the crowd of Arizona baseball fans once again. The 2022 season is finally here. Bring it on. Got to get pumped up. Of course, this is a live look of the stadium in which the Arizona Diamondbacks will suit up against the Padres, as you can see all around. And of course, the fans there looking forward to getting inside. Now, don't forget the tip-off, or actually the first pitch is set for 6.40 p.m. And coming up on News 4 Tucson at 5 and 6 p.m., we will continue our in-depth coverage on opening day with the Diamondbacks. In our 5 o'clock newscast, we'll catch up with some of the players and coaches who say they are more than pumped up. And in our 6 o'clock newscast, we'll have more previews on the season for the Diamondbacks. Plus, we are hoping to catch up with some Tucsonans who made the drive from southern Arizona right here to downtown Phoenix to check out the Arizona Diamondbacks. Some are actually coming to see the Padres as well. The Padres are fairly popular in the Tucson area as well. So we'll check in at 5 and 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting live from opening day here with the Arizona Diamondbacks in downtown Phoenix, Paul C. Gala, News 4, Tucson.